Here we are in the front of Fowler. The bus lane, which is immediately in front of the school, that's for buses only, no personal vehicles. And that area where that blue car is, is where the drop-off will be for fourth and fifth graders. Obviously, starting next week, it's just going to be fourth graders. Those fourth graders will come in this library entrance. Fifth graders, when they get here, they'll go back around and enter that door on the fifth grade hallway. So again, this is drop-off for fourth and fifth. And over there by the auditorium is the drop-off for six, seven, and eight. And here's the bus lane for all bus drop-off. Walkers are included in this. Walkers, if you're fourth and fifth grade walker, you're coming in this way. And if you're six, seven, and eight walker, you got to go down that way for your entrance. So here we have the drop-off area for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Here behind the auditorium and the music room, cars can pull up, drop kids off here. Sixth graders are then going to walk around behind the building to the cafeteria entrance. Sixth graders will be dropped off in front of the building and they'll walk around behind the gym, behind the music room, and enter through the cafeteria. So the sixth graders will be coming in through the cafeteria doors. They're going to walk single file, six feet apart, along the wall. They're going to come out. The cafeteria door is here. They are going to make a left-hand turn, stay into the right. They're going to go down the hallway, behind the courtyard. Again, stay into the right, going down the hallway and up the sixth grade stairs while they're going to the classrooms. So our fourth graders will be coming in the building here from drop off and from the buses. They'll come here to the library entrance, come through these double doors, single file and socially distant. They'll be greeted warmly by their teachers. They'll come here to the lobby of the school by the stairs and go down the fourth grade hallway, staying to the right and into their classrooms. We're here in the fourth grade classroom, getting ready, putting the last finishing touches on. You can see the desks are socially distanced, marked with some blue tape. Every classroom has hand sanitizer. And every classroom has a sign for the maintenance crew, so when teachers leave at the end of the day, they can indicate whether the room is clean or not clean. And this will give us a quick look to make sure that the rooms are being cleaned and disinfected properly. Senor Reyes's room, again, all set, ready to go, socially distanced. Hand sanitizer available in each and every classroom. All right, here on the sixth grade hall, we got the same clean and non-clean sticker here, but what's this? This is a sign that tells you which cohort is going in which room. So cohort two on Mondays and Tuesdays, and cohort six on Thursdays and Fridays. Senior Padolino's room, but as you know, the teachers will be moving from room to room. The kids will be staying the same. Again, Mr. Cotter, clean, not clean. Cohort three on Mondays and Tuesdays. Cohort seven on Thursdays and Fridays. You can see the other rooms here, Mr. Peffer's room, Mrs. Brunel's room. But again, the kids are gonna come in, sit down, and their teachers will rotate from classroom to classroom. Again, you're gonna see that each classroom has hand sanitizing station, PPE is available, and we are just about ready here.